turn of each page, the recite of each word, brings closer the winds of heaven, never too young, never too old to learn, to become one closer to Allah, and join our one-on-one -on -one classes to start learning the Quran today. Download QTOR and start your free trial today. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters and welcome to Quran and Islam. I hope you're preparing well for your Akhirah. Holy Prophet peace be upon him said, Some scholars of my Ummah will be like the sons of the Prophets of the Bani Israel. Though some sects doubt about its authenticity, we find this Hadith in various books of Hadith, which is why it is worth mentioning. Brothers and sisters, Allah blesses His friends with the knowledge that differentiates them from others. Hazrat Shah Nematullah Wali was also such a Sufi saint. He was a spiritual leader in Iran from the 14th and 15th centuries. 850 years ago, Shah Nematullah Wali predicted the future of the world and humans in his poetic verses. Most of his forecasts came true. How about if I tell you that he listed the names of the Mughal emperors in the exact order in which they were born and governed the subcontinent? Nothing amazing, right? But you will be amazed to know that he had predicted these names around 100 to 700 years prior to their actual births. He had predicted the subcontinent will be occupied by the British, which we all know happened in the 19th century. Shah Nematullah Wali said that a massive war will happen, consuming many lives, and who doesn't know about World Wars 1 and 2 in the 20th century? One of the Persian poetries of Shah Nematullah clearly predict the independence of 1947 and the events that revolved around it. Here's what he said. When Hindustan will break into two, humans will be killed without keeping account. Affliction and distress will be beyond the imagination of a man. Hindus will afflict Muslims and snatch their homes. Muslims will become migrants and their honor will suffer a great loss. Their mothers, sisters and daughters will be taken away from them. Muslims will then seek refuge in the Muslim majority regions. There will be happy days after the trouble and chaos. Our interest now is in the fact that his prophecies were not just for the 20th century. He also had a lot to say for the times following the 21st century as well. Prepare yourself for the prophecies that have already begun to come true. Here are a few of them. In his verses, he has mentioned that there would be a time when liars and corrupts would be in power. Instead of defending the lives and properties of their people, they will be the ones stealing them covertly. The scholars will be fake and hypocritical. They will prefer money over their faiths. He stated that there will be a time when Christians will be in charge, but the Jews will be truly running the world. Don't we see this happening, brothers and sisters? Shah Nematullah Wali has also foretold all the events that will occur prior to the end of the world. These, however, have already been mentioned by the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. These predictions include the Great War, the drying of the Euphrates River, and the leadership of Imam Mahdi. In a secular nation, there would be great tension between Muslims and non-Muslims and the neighboring nation would succeed in defending its Muslim brothers and Muslim countries will help this nation. Islam will then spread over the area. Can you guess which country will this be? Some scholars suggest that the secular nation will be India where we see Muslims getting beaten up every day and Pakistan will be the most prominent name in the countries who will bring India under control. Here is what he said. Muslims will occupy the regions of Indian Punjab, Kashmir and Ganges and the Yamuna rivers. The non-believers will be subdued after this. The Muslim armies will celebrate after being successful. This battle will go on for six months and the Muslims will be successful by the blessings of Allah Almighty. He further stated that Afghan people along with various other Muslims will also stand against non-believers and non-Muslims will try hard to stop this holy war against them. He further states a country from north, Iran as well as Turkey would help Pakistan in the war. Though it's only the Almighty who knows the best and makes his servants know only what he wants, scholars believe that all of his other forecasts will come true just like his earlier ones. 
What do you think about these predictions brothers and sisters? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss an update. Till next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.